Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys how I use my stencils and do uh, jelly jelly printing. So I'm gonna grab the, these are the three from the Season of the Witch stencil set that I have in my shop. And I'm taking a little, um, just copy paper right now to use, to because it's thinner and then I can layer real easy. But I'm gonna use the jelly, jelly plate here and I'm gonna, um, place the stencils down and then I'm going to get some black um, acrylic paint, just any acrylic paint, and a makeup sponge or something that you can do a little bit of dry brush, like dryer brushing on a um, stencil. And the first one I'm showing you how like you, if you really, really dry brush it um, and go over all the, um, the cuts in the stencil. Um, it makes a, a really nice print, but the problem with it when you do the really, really light is that it, it's just, it's, it's so um, difficult to see. Anyway, so I have to go over it twice and I'm just daubering it. This is like how you would normally do it when you were doing it on, like say you were doing it on paper. Sorry, my dog is chewing on something here. But this is what you would do if you were doing it um, just like on paper, you would want it really, really dry. But on a jelly plate, you um, you can brush it, you can do a little, you can do a little, um, you, have, you have a little more freedom, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyways, I put that down and I just make sure that you can see the markings. And then with her, I wanted um, her hair black. So I'm just painting in the black. I haven't done this yet on this um, with this stencil. Um, normally I just leave it and just print it and go, right? But um, this time I thought if I added a little bit a, of the um, paint to the hair, then I wouldn't have to go back over it. So I was just trying, trying it here. So I'm gonna just let you watch that for a second. So after I do that layer, I put it to the side to let it dry, and now I'm gonna do the other face on a different shaped jelly plate. And I look at the back just to make sure that it's lined up. I wanted to have her chin to the top of her eyebrows at least on the plate. And then now I'm just loading it up a little, the, oh, loading the sponge up with black a little more, and I can just brush right over it. And, it, and there, there might be some bleeding, but not too much on the jelly plate. It's so simple on the jelly plate, I'm telling you. Stencils on the jelly plate are where it's at for me. I love doing stencils on the jelly plate. All right, so I got it loaded up, making sure all the spots are covered, and then I will, um, let's see, I got it. Oh, I'm taking off where the mouth is so that it's not solid black. See, there was a little bleeding at the top there, but pretty good print so I'll put that to the side and let that dry and then we'll go to the next one now this one um, I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna load it up and just um, go over the whole stencil I, I try to uh, not get too much over the mouth because I like to add some you know some pink or some red or whatever to the lips but um, it, the hair, like I can jelly print that hair and go over the hair really, really easy later with some paint or I just leave it 
just depends on what my mood is, but that comes, and so you can see the grunge on that stencil, so that will come out kind of nice. Now this other stencil, I was looking at her hair and do, and there was places where it was um, super thick, and so I was trying to brush it out, and then I'm like, what if I just take the makeup sponge and just kind of dauber some paint on there, because it wasn't really working for me. So I went in and use the makeup sponge to to add some layers to this hair and it worked out really really good um and so i'm going to do that and then i'll put it to the side let it dry and we'll pull the other plates while um this one dries Okay, so now this this face is, you know, dried pretty well, and I'm gonna add, I think I, I'm adding some pink and then some um, peach together, and I'm gonna make a swipe across this plate here. Um, here we go. I just have to get that mixed in really good, run it across, and what I do is I try to get it pretty smooth, and then I lay my paper down, and I put some pressure on it, and then what I'm gonna do is, um, set it to the side and let it kind of just dry a little bit. Sometimes it works really good if you stack some books on it too. So I put it to the side and I go to the next one. And with her, I wanted to add a darker, a little bit of a darker skin tone. So I added some brown and then some, this um, gold shimmer and mix it together. And it just makes a nice, um, I don't know, adding shimmers to skin tones, I feel like adds a nice little um, glow to them and I like that. So that's why I add shimmers to my face colors. I started doing it with watercolor and I found that it works really well with um, acrylics too. So I'm just gonna kind of, this one can be a little grungier because the underneath will pull with this one just because it was kind of dirty underneath, which I was excited about. I love those little bits. I just think it makes a nice, beautiful um, pull. So this one, I am gonna go a lot darker. So I'm adding the brown and some of that um, shimmer to her as well. And I'm just gonna do a swipe across her face here. And I just try to make sure that it's pretty smooth. Um, it doesn't you don't have to fuss too much about it but anyway so i put that down smooth it out and then i put it to put her to the side and then i i'm going to start pulling these other ones and you can see how cool they came out i hope you enjoyed this and um if you have any questions just let me know mm -hmm.